7 a.m. news. Today, straight from Washington, a series of dust devils have recently broken out. Devastating effects have torn through the city, leaving citizens bewildered. Reports say the winds engulfed the many citizens. We have brought in scientist Scott Keller with us today to help a victim of this tragic incident. The victim has described the details of what she calls a scary disaster. Let's introduce our scientist first, Mr. Scott Keller. Hi, Mr. Keller. Hello, thank you for having me on today. My name is Dr. Scott Keller. I have a PhD in meteorology, and I myself have a daughter as well. She is four years old, and although we have not experienced this situation firsthand, I've been studying these kinds of rare occurrences for a very long period of time. Thank you so much, Dr. Keller, for coming on today. But before we begin the consultation between the doctor and our first victim, here's our first commercial break. Get your Mars Dust Devil cereal today. It's out of this world and comes in multiple shapes, ranging from Mars-shaped cereal to twisty Dust Devil shapes. Get your free Dust Devil toy as an additional gift, included in your cereal box. With remarkable flavor, there's no reason not to collect them all now. Get yours today at a price of $5.99. Again, that $5.99 for a breakfast that's out of this world. All right, after that brief commercial, let's move on to the distressed mother who witnessed the incident firsthand, Ms. Chen. Hi, Ms. Chen. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm a single mother with a baby. Hello everyone, I'm Blue and I'm six years old. I hope everyone's having a good day, like me. Oh, it gives me the most pressure. Anyways, I called to the news channel in distress after I saw what seems to be a giant spinning sand tornado drifting by my porch. I immediately saw the channel was doing a segment on rare weather occurrences, what you call phenomena, yes? Mm -hmm. And that a plastic of a tornado came to be. Ms. Chen, can you please describe the situation you were put in? I wouldn't say the situation was too damaging, but it was quite scary to be in. I recently moved here from LA, and it was an early afternoon when Blue's weekend away from school, and I was on the porch when a monstrous creature came to stir from the sand below. What was your reaction to this? Well, I immediately protected Blue, as she is my child, and at first I thought I was witnessing a tornado form in front of me, rising from the floor spinning, but knew it wasn't the case after it quickly disappeared. I was hoping I could come here, and you could explain to me what quite happened. This strange weather occurrences are called phenomena, and they occur under specific circumstances, but not any means always rare. Phenomena? Yes, that's right. Is that the one we just experienced? That must be the worst phenomena out there. These are called dust devils. Under my calculations of weather, it occurs on the terrain during warm and dry and sunny days. It also occurs when the area has light winds with hot and calm weather. In addition, it also happens during the early afternoon. Dust devils are not by any means bad phenomena. They usually occur for a short period of time and fall easily when conditions change in the slightest of bit. Will that happen again? It was so scary. Yes. Being in Washington, dust devils are common occurrence. Because eastern Washington is so dry in the summer, seasoned loose dirt and dirt is easily whisked into the air, which allows it to see the scene so well. Is there any way we can prevent the dust devils from occurring? Yes, is there any way that humans affect dust devils? Humans can play a key role in the cause of a dust devil formation. Asphalt in the road could have a temperature difference compared to nearby ground, making the heat from the asphalt heat up in the air, creating dust devils, splattering land. Deforestation, hot weather, and global warming can all be factors of how human can impact the dust devil. I'm sure glad that we know our dust devil information. Blue and I will try our best to tell the others in the Eastern Washington community, and thank you that you told us. Thank you so much, Mr. Keller. No problem. I encourage you to study more of, of national phenomena. Those events with questionable occurrences, and feel free to contact anyone at our team to ask questions. Thank you for your insight, Mr. Keller. This dust devil has been one of the greatest in Washington history. And if you've been directly impacted, please call 123-666-7890 for restoration of resources. Alrighty, in our next segment, we will be going over the specifics of dust devil formation. But first, here's another commercial break. Introducing the Duster Mop. Tired of those pesky dust spots? Tired of your in-laws mocking your cleaning skills? Well, fret no more. With this mop, anything is possible. Sweep up that dirt, mop up that dust, dance more dusting. Get it now for $28 and receive a free Dust Devil add-on. Only at Dusted.com. That's right, folks. D-U-S-T-I-T dot com. Surely everyone loves cotton candy, and now you can make it in your own house. The new Dust Devils Cotton Candy Maker creates the perfect spiral shape of sugar without needing any dry or arid weather. Call now to order at 858-999-DUST or go to dustdevilcottoncandy.com to order your own cotton candy maker. Don't wait any longer before they go out of stock. And even better, if you call now, you'll also get our free cotton candy flavors, Asphalt Blackberry and Dust Banana. So order now. Before we return to our broadcasting, we return to Scott.
Scott Keller as he has an important informational announcement about dust pebbles. Dust pebbles are spinning vertical pillars of the earth that pick up dirt and debris. Dust pebbles appear out of places that are hot, dry, and flat. Dust pebbles are often just like humidity and can disrupt the formation. Also known as sand pebbles, they are caused by the heating of a specific part of the ground such as asphalt. The ground heating causes air that floats above it to heat up, as well due to convection where hot air rises and cold air sinks, the air causes it to go up, compared to the slightly cooler spots of the ground around it. This causes the air to go up, spitting in a vortex. Dust devils, however, can form without anyone noticing. Dust devil is spitting air, but if there was no dust, it would be invisible. The opacity of a devil varies with the amount of dirt. Thanks for all the great info, Scott Keller. Imagine macaroni cooking in a pot, hot and boiling with steam, and occasionally it needs to be stirred. But what is it? The macaroni goes up to the top, then submerges in a constant flow. It's stirring itself, but why is this happening? This is called convection. Convection is when hot liquids and gases rise while cool liquids and gases sink. The macaroni at the bottom, which is the hottest, rises up, and then at the top it cools and goes back down at the side. At the bottom it rises again, where the cycle of convection continues. And we're back! This time talking to another expert in the field, but this time farther into space, Dr. Goldsworthy. We also have a special student here today, Lucas, to learn and ask questions about what Dr. Goldsworthy does. Hi, my name is Lucas, and I'm in fifth grade. Right now, we're learning all about weather phenomena, and specifically on planets other than ours. It's truly amazing to see young students exploring this field of meteorology and diving further into the topic of weather phenomena. Today, I would like to share one of NASA's weather's newest discoveries, a dust devil on Mars. Here we have a quick clip of the dust devil occurrence on Mars. Cool! How are dust devils on Earth and Mars similar? Well, similar to Earth, dust devils in Mars occur mostly during dry, warm summers and at daytime. They also form in the same way as they do on Earth. Okay. How does the dust devil form on Mars? Heated, less dense air, which is closer to the ground, rises, pushing above the layer of cooler, more dense air above. These rising plumes of hot air and sinking cool air began rotating vertically. This is simply convection, which is the process of hot air rising over cool air because of density. This causes the formation of a dust devil. How often do dust devils occur on Mars? From certain points on Mars, you can see up to half a dozen of them. They are often more destructive than on Earth, as they are believed to create a magnetic field that can block out radio and cause static electricity. Thank you so much for answering my question on dust devils on Mars. Thank you for your information, Dr. Goldsworthy. It is quite interesting that these special phenomena can occur in outer space as well. Before we continue, we have another advertisement, so keep your ear in. Working on a project, need to sand down some wood? Get the fine grain sander ranging from as fine as powder to gritty and grainy as dust. Get a free sample today by signing up at unfinedustsanders.com. Call now for a pre-order of five strips of sanders, plus one extra if you call before April 7th. And here's yet another quick informative segment for those viewers at home who hope to get a deeper understanding of dust level occurrences and general information on how these phenomena. Dust devils are practically everywhere, but not visible without a nearby source of dust. Dust devils can appear anywhere with the right conditions like Death Valley and other deserts. Dust devils are no rare phenomenon. They happen in multiple places. Dust devils on Earth average from 10 to 30 feet in width and can spin up to 40 miles per hour. Dust devils can appear anywhere with the right conditions like Death Valley and other deserts. Weather and climate are regulated by interactions involving sunlight, the ocean, the atmosphere, ice, landforms, and living things. These interactions differ with latitude, altitude, and local and regional geography, all of which can affect oceanic and atmospheric flow patterns. Because these patterns are so complex, weather can be predicted only based on probability. Do you have a dust devil occurrence in your area? Don't you always think about that phenomena creating soil from loose dirt and eventually bringing one of your belongings? Do you have the right insurance to cover you? If not, please let us help you in joining DDC, Dust Devil Coverage. We have the rights to protect you from any dust devil coverage. To sign up or ask questions, please call 858-943-1836. Before we return to our news, we have a trailer for a new upcoming movie. 
Paradox of Phenomena, a mystery, which will be released on April 27th. A single wind blows across the abandoned area. A large estate has the only sign of life. There aren't many guests here. I wonder why. Oh, I heard that there was a murder last year in room 108. Of course, it's just a rumor. No hotel staff dares to admit that this place would hold a murder. Oh, did you hear that? The murderer is in the hotel with us. It is one of you, and I aim to find out. That was some trailer. I can't wait to see that on April 27th. Anyways, getting back to us, we have just heard about another death devil occurrence in March as we speak. Using the Curiosity Rover, we can see death devil pictures exactly from Mars. Scott Keller, can you please clarify to me how it's also occurring on Mars as well? Due to warm climates and fixed conditions of dry land, times of rapid heating and room dirt occurs there as well. It's very fascinating how Mars has the same conditions as Washington. But in Mars, it's quite often. Due to Mars having its whole world have room dirt and with weather conditions, it's very often to happen in Mars. And we're back in our Eastern Washington studio. I'm joined by these lovely guests here, and we're going to play Dust Devil or Not to test all their knowledge. Who's ready for Dust Devil or Not? Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Our first image, Dust Devil or Not. or not. Washington. Anyways, as you know, my name is Scott Keller and I'm currently filling in for our lovely host today as she is an audience currently fleeing in the Serious Dust Devil in Studio A. I told her to film outside but she insisted. Anyway, this ends our special Dust Devils and we'll be shooting the trailer for more weather phenomena and I am Scott Keller. Hi Danny and I'm Aurora Olia. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for watching Dust Devil in the Eastern Washington School. <laughs> 